Hi everybody, it's Jamie and it's day two of the Healing Through Distortions to Love video blog. I'm here to share with all of you that in order to move forward with really healing those patterns and all of the distortions that we have inherited, as well as we've created in ourselves that are blocking our flow of receiving and being the natural divine love that we are and being able to extend that out naturally. That's how we're wired in our divine nature. But living on this planet, we've gotten a little bit uh, altered. Yeah. So what we're doing is we're clearing those patterns and distortions through conscious intention. And we have maximum light coming through from zero point in the galaxy, really. Photon light is coming in and healing. It's moving through all of us, whether we're conscious of it or not. But it's bringing through everything within us that wants to come home to love that wants to be a part of the light. We are at the center where the light is strongest now at this galaxy, stronger than it's been in the last 14,000 years, by the way. It's pushing everything that's been in shadows and on the outside to come forward. So for humanity, that means for us, those of us that have been living in the duality of our human experience, knowing we're divine beings on one hand, but then we're, ah, we're feeling the heaviness of l the perceived limitations of density of who we've been. Well, Guess what? This is all being healed now. So what we're doing is we're using intentionality in this next 30 days as a way to kind of jumpstart ourselves to come back to center point and home within ourselves. Okay? Anyway, um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the next minute to go over something that's important today to ponder for yourself so that tomorrow, when we come into day three, we can more powerfully move forward from our intentions of healing distortions and patterns moving through us. I'll also find better light source. I'm uh, it's getting a little late in the day and I'm makeshifting something, but I don't need perfection anymore. I just need to move forward, follow the energies. So thanks for bearing with me. Ask yourself this question and ponder at this tonight and when you receive this blog, to take yourself forward now in the next step of removing distortions to love, I really want you to sit at your altars and call in pure light source, call in your divine presence self, call in Christ, call in Babaji, call in whatever you call in that is your team and your expansion within the light. Ask yourself this question, what is it within me that is the veil of what I'm ready to have moved that keeps me from feeling in love and in expansion with my femininity or my masculinity, All right? What is it that has felt like the biggest distortion or the pattern for you? What veil do you want to lift in yourself to move forward and declare the truth of who you are, okay? So I love you all. Take a look and ponder this and I will see you tomorrow. I love you all. Thanks for having the courage to heal distortions to love through the alchemy of love with yourself and pure source light working with you. Take this to your prayers. Ask for help. The help of heaven is with us now. Namaste.